One of the most powerful lasers ever built created the light for the laser not using diodes like a normal laser, but with a chemical reaction. Get some of this hydrogen peroxide. Now watch what happens when I drip it in here. Whoa. So if I just take this hydrogen peroxide and drip it onto some pool chlorine, then the reaction produces singlet oxygen at high concentration so they can bump into each other. That is so cool. When you have high concentrations of singlet oxygen, they can bump into each other and react to make normal oxygen and a red photon of light. The military used this reaction in the YAL-1, which produced a one megawatt continuous laser that could shoot down intercontinental missiles from the sky. Now that I think about it, I think I know what my next project will be. Oh. <laughs>